So, 11 years ago, 2011, I created my first YouTube video. Now, this was on some other channel. I don't think I have access to it. My first video was me playing Balloons Tower Defense, and I was recording off a handheld camcorder. Now, I still have that camcorder. Got it because my dad was super proud of me for completing a baseball season when I was younger. And at that age, you know, like I said, it was seven years ago. I didn't really know what to post. I didn't know what was the big thing. I just thought of a bunch of random things to start posting. I think I only had 15 show videos on that channel. I know I didn't have a subscriber. But then the years went on. I started posting a game called Combat Arms on that channel just a little later on. Now, it was one of my favorite games when I was younger. I got to the point I was so good, I got banned because someone thought that I was cheating. Then, three years later, it's 2014, I created myself, Destello. I created this channel, and I started who I wanted to be in the future. Now, I knew that I always wanted to be a YouTuber. It's always been a dream, but I never really knew what to do, what steps to take, where to start. So, I started posting Call of Duty. My first video on this channel, like I said, back in 2014 was on Advanced Warfare. I was making a series called Road to Silver in the ranked play area. I probably only put three episodes up on that and that completely fell off. And I continued to upload Call of Duty all the way up into World War II. It was so inconsistent, my upload schedule is actually insane. You might get a video once every six months at that point. In the middle of me, like, uploading pretty inconsistently, I got a modded Xbox 360, started playing BO2, and I figured I would stream. Now, streaming was probably the highlight of my career. Views, subscribers, engagement rates, all that wise. I had a night where I gained 200 subscribers in a night. And the reason why I stopped that is because I was getting hit off every night. I couldn't set up a VPN. My router ended up blowing up. I had to get a new one. Just too much drama. Until three or four months ago, my first video before I started my actual schedule of posting every day to every third day. That was me talking about the meteor theory, you know, middle of season three, going into season four. And that's how it really all started for me for this fortnight. This is when I started growing. But here we are now, you know, months into my pretty consistent uploading. And I can't say that I haven't grown, you know, quite a bit because I have. I've gained over 100 subscribers these past few months. And once again, I am super thankful. Thank you guys so much for that. But then these past few weeks, I've gotten less views, my subscribers have been dropping, and I honestly cannot figure out why. I was thinking about it and I just don't know. I'm changing my uploads a little bit to see what you guys like the best. Of course we'll see. But the more I thought about it, this video came to mind. Just all the real struggles that I don't think people see when starting YouTube. The amount of competition that there is. Like I put my heart and soul into these videos. And I'm sure that some of you guys know that. I love uploading. It's you know my passion. But it's extremely hard. When I put hours into a video. When someone can put 20 minutes. Into a video. And because they're the bigger YouTuber. They get. A hundred thousand views. And I'll get 20 to 30. And no matter how much I try not to let that get me down, it does. Now, I used to be a lot better at that, like, hey, my shot's going to be coming. You'll get there. But the more and more I'm uploading, the more and more I see people able to get so many more views for something that I've already done. It just sucks. Now, I know that YouTube is no easy process. Growing on YouTube isn't. It's hard to upload consistently. I know that from the seven years that I've been YouTubing. At multiple points in your YouTube career, I'm sure that even larger YouTubers have this. 
you start to question yourself, what you're doing wrong, why you aren't as great as you used to be, what happened. And I know that I'm on a smaller scale than most people. I have the 1.3 thousand subscribers. Again, I am so thankful for. I remember when I used to have under 100 which wasn't long ago, actually. And I was still happy then. I was happy with all of my subscribers. But the more I think about why I'm losing subscribers, the more it gets me down. I know thinking about the numbers is always bad, but when you're a small YouTuber, even though that it's my passion, I look at the numbers and say, wow, I'm really screwing up here somewhere. I was averaging... Two to three hundred views a day, sometimes up to seven hundred views uh, across all of my videos combined in a day. And now I get lucky on some days if I reach one hundred views. And like I said, I just don't know what's going on. Now, honestly, I don't know where I'm going with this video. I didn't have it planned out like I do some of my other videos. I would assume that this is me just ranting expressing my feelings the struggles of being a small youtuber maybe i'm looking for support or someone to tell me that you know i'm gonna make it there someday i don't know to be honest i wish i i wish that i knew what i was trying to say here but i truly don't now i'm not quitting youtube of course i've said that before I love you guys. I love making YouTube videos. You guys are my family, and I will not just get up and leave like that, you know? The one thing that I do want to ask you guys before I sign off here is down in the comment section, let me know in true honesty what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, and what you want to see on this channel regarding Fortnite or a different game. I know that I'm bringing back Call of Duty, and I really hope that you guys enjoy Call of Duty. It's always been my passion, and I'm waiting for Black Ops 4. <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited I am for Black Ops 4. But yeah, just let me know down in the comments. One day, I know I'm going to make it big with all of you guys that have supported me. And I'm making sure that I support all of you guys, too. I love you guys. And of course, I know it's Friday. So just check the comment section for the winner of the 1000 V-Buck giveaway. But anyways guys, this is my rant, my video, my struggle as a YouTuber. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.